is about that time. Welcome back for some Super Mega Baseball 4. Call this the precursor to our fourth season of Bullets Baseball. And things have changed for this ball club. That's what we're going to talk about today. It's introduced to this new team and everything else that's going on. There's a preview look for you. We'll get a look at all the lineups, all the fun things in just a moment. Our first and foremost, a couple changes on this screen here. Our home stadium is going to change again, this time to Founders Field. A little bit of that old-time baseball, kind of Boston-esque. I like that. We've been moving around. This team hasn't been able to find a forever home, and uh, maybe between that and a few other changes we're making around the place, it'll do us some good. Second big change, we're going to hop right into this screen, our uniforms. You get a look at those before we start this season. For the homes, going a little bit untraditional. Still sticking that red, white, and blue. However, it's almost a navy-esque blue jersey. White piping. Uh, red and white numbers. White trim on the sleeves. And blue and white pants. Primary blue, white stripe down the side, and white socks. A little bit of an untraditional for the homes. And then for the roads, gray pants. Red jerseys, white numbers, so they're very visible. And that was my goal. And then uh, gray and red hats. Also get a look at our uh, alternate uniforms, alternate uni number one. You saw it last year. The powder blues with the white gradient are going to be sticking around. Alternate uni. Oops, I just added a, a random one. No, and... Get rid of that. So that's our only alternate is those blues. We got rid of the whites that we had been using for a game or two here. Um, so that's a look at that. Man, where do we even start on the player front? Let's just get you in here to meet everybody. We'll go through everybody. We have... Uh, we're starting on here. Let's, let's do this. Uh, we'll get to the picture, of course. Can't forget that. We're going to start way up here. And we're just going to get you a look at everybody here. So first of all, Ayla Chapman may be contesting Miss Molly O'Connor at the catcher position. Uh, we will see as time goes on. She's got decent stats. And uh, we needed another kind of secondary catcher. So she can also play first for us when needed. Layla Uptown, you know where you love her. The bright hair, the glasses, the teal uh, baseball bat making a return. She can be short as well as, well, primary of second. Uh, shortstop is where she's probably spent more time for us, but uh, that's Miss Uptown. You know her, you love her. Up next, we have Nick Jackman. He's sticking around for another season with us. We'll be playing some first base and uh, occasionally being potentially a bench hitter, depending on how things kind of pan out. You know, Royal Thunderer, she's got the bat at times. Right fielder with an outfield secondary. So she's got, you know, nothing to, to scream about, but decent stats nonetheless. Ronan Lamb is new for us this year. He is a third baseman, not a great, you know, all around anything to write home about, but um, he does have decent speed, and we will continue hopefully to. Uh, Work with him as the season goes along. Up next, our Sophia Coffey. A bit of a hair change for her, the now 20-year-old veteran. Where's the number seven? And uh, did well for us infield secondary position. So she may spend some time uh, filling in for players who may be needing a day off. And uh, she can potentially start, obviously, at short as well. And that's where she spent a good chunk of time for us last season. Molly O'Connor, pride of Ireland, catcher and a uh, outfield secondary. So she's been useful as a fill-in. And now with Ayla Chapman, we'll kind of see, you know, how Molly does. And uh, if there's going to be some potential drama and competition at the catcher position, that remains to be seen. Blamo Battery, he's really been our utility guy infield outfield he can do it all really 
and uh, you know he's been pretty solid for us and we keep him around primarily for the ability to move him around defensively as the need arises Dustin Schaeffer still got the shades he also a couple players have had minor changes to their hair walk up music that sort of thing and he's also going to be a utility guy hopefully a la um, Blamo Battery as well up next Dean Robinson had a decent season for us last year first base with a left field secondary and uh, you know power is a decent stand other than that he needs some development time and he'll have that with us this year now we get to my favorite part of this ball club is our pitching staff and we have Lily Rocket of course she will be our ace a minus starting pitcher good stats all around will be our opening day starter likely for season four up next Ella Vortex sticking around and she will hopefully have a better season than last year we had a bit of a rough time but we've got a better defense as a ball club and so hopefully that will help miss Ella Getty Doc Door I mean his bald head sticking around steady Getty when he's on he's fantastic when he struggles it's been rough but he will be with us again as a starter Ruby Farrell as well a couple of our pitchers rocking the light blue headbands this season now Olivia Field who has struggled to say the least uh, she will be in the pen for us this year and uh, we'll hope that we can continue to do some development work with Miss Field and see what becomes of her the 29 horse Moody uh, decided he didn't want the blue that was too much work for the hair he let it go natural and this is what happened I don't know if he's just old or what looks like Santa Claus or something like that and there he is and uh, Lorenzo Clark you know decent out of the back end of the bullpen when his defense can work with him when not it's been rough and Wanda McMackey is gonna be our closer look at this lady she is going to be spectacular for us amazing stats and we're hoping that that can work out for us um, and then uh, I'm gonna mess this up I love Padilla I believe is gonna be our new closer sorry not Wanda I thought Wanda was but she is a uh, reliever and then Isla Padilla as a closer. I mean, she's got decent stats, and uh, I'm liking where she's at. Now, you know Canopy Cannon. He's probably going to be a big face for us. He has been for the last few seasons. He's been with us, I believe, from the outside of this club. And then uh, we also have Heel Mitchell. And, you know, some more outfield help never hurts. And then here's a big one, kids. You ready? You saw this name, likely, last season, and she is a menace. Princess Precious is ours. For whatever reason, she was put into free agency, and I couldn't pass up the opportunity to get an absolute stud of a player such as Princess Precious. The 27-year-old, look at these stats. Just gnarly. And then we're back. With Ayla Chapman, so that's a look at the ball club. Uh, in terms of a lineup, uh, I gotta do some thinking, and if you have any ideas, uh, please let me know. This is kind of where I'm leaning so far. We got Canopy Cannon in that leadoff spot, Sophia Coffee in the two hole, and then we have Ayla Chapman as catcher, and she'll bat third. Good contact, decent speed. Princess Precious doing the cleanup duties for us. Decent contact for Layla Uptown in the five spot. Uh, Ronan Lamb, nothing to write home about. For decent speed there and uh, speed fielding, both present for Royal Thunderer out in right. And then uh, Nick Jackman, and then that puts us to that pitching spot and back to the top of the order with some good potential on the bench. So that's kind of where I'm at. On the lineup front, for those who might be interested, we'll get you a look at the photo of this ball club. What do you think? I think we've got a good thing going. I think our defense has been much improved. And uh, as long as I don't touch the controls, I think we might do all right. 
And that's where I wanted to bring our, our big question of the day here is, do you want me to play them or are you good with what we've been doing the last uh, season or so with the watching the games and, and uh, me trying to man the lineups and uh, struggling through? As long as we don't have another season like last year, I think we'll be in an okay spot. But this is the look, at least initially, for your Season 4 Bayfront Bullets. If you have any feedback, any suggestions, anything like that, please feel free to let me know. I'm down to make changes. I'm down to do lots of different things with this series. I just want to make you aware that you're a part of it as well. So stick with me. And uh, likely coming early 2024... I'm going to take some time to just chill out, play some other games, give it a rest. But I wanted to get you a look at the club post-off season and get you hyped for Season 4. If you like what you see, hit any of those buttons that make sense to you down there. If you want to stick around for Season 4, you know what to do. That subscribe button's down there if you need it. And if you don't, that's cool too. I appreciate you sticking around. If you celebrate any uh, upcoming holidays, I hope you enjoy them. And uh, Happy New Year! I will probably have some form of video out between now and the end of the year, but if not, Happy New Year. And uh, we'll see you for Season 4. Peace.